Hello and welcome to this Absolute Beginners Blender tutorial number 11. In this tutorial we will continue to work with uh, this car model uh, and the idea is to put glass on it. I'll press 1 to see it from the side. I will actually cut this in half and uh, just work on one side. It makes no sense to work on two sides since it's perfectly symmetrical. So, um, just want to straighten up some of the lines here, some of the topology. Uh, that has been somewhat bent when we used to the lattice modifier, so I'll just kind of get this squared away. And, and there, I guess. So from the top, then um, I think I'll be in face mode and um, have the invinc invisible selector or select everything, even the things that are not visible. And like that, and delete that faces. This way we can have a, get a good good grasp on how, s how the wheel wells are doing and uh, need to make some adjustments here. can just grab those pieces there. Let's shift to edge mode. So speak, just make sure you get enough space for that and then go around and see if it looks okay on, on this side too, where we want to. I think this edge here needs to come forward a little bit. And perhaps this edge too. is just adjustments. Okay. So now <clears throat> those are just adjustments to kind of straighten things up. The, the important part is really really this that we I will remove I will move this light over because it's just in the way. And uh, oh boy I tend to do that a lot don't I? No, there you go. Okay, now back on track. Here, th this will become a two-seater, no, a two-door car. I'm not going to have a rear door. There's just not enough, um, or I'm not going to bother about having a, a, a door. And I think that this is about, you know, the way I want the, the door to be, and the um, I think I'll pull the glass because that's where we're interested in down to about here. And I should probably do a put a loop in here too. Just to be on the safe side here so I get a I can adjust the pillar to what I need it to be. So that's that and then I think I would like to have a loop down here too sure that one up and we can probably have one here to control R there I think would be a good place to have one so that because what happens is when you put uh, um, different materials adjacent to each other they will tend to bleed over uh, because of you know how the subsurface modifier works so, which means that this will also be a good, good place to do that. And 
this here. That way you can actually kind of control the materials, how they bleed over and into each other. We'll see soon. We'll add a uh, material slot. I, I want to call this paint job. This one paint job. So I know what it's just kind of white, but still, I still want it to have. And here I'll call this glass. And um, so now we're defining the glass. It, it will be a blue, a really dark blue, like that, low intensity. Whereas now I can make, I can actually do the factor up here a little bit. So it's because it's going to be deep tinted windows. So we do a blend and uh, one more. I can pull down the intensity even a bit further. Uh, maybe not like this. And then have a little bit of translucency and we'll have C transparency and uh, just a little bit transparent. So there. There's the material, and now we'll go for the faces. Yeah, I'll actually take these down here. We'll see how that turns out. Remember, this is just a, it's just a cartoon character car, so this is why we can you know, move forward this quickly and be kind of sloppy with details and all that or I mean that just depends on your own level of ambition I guess okay so there and uh, I'll create a um, vertex group but call that glass and I'll assign those and now we can go over to materials and uh, choose glass and assign that and see how that goes. And then just camera view and just render that. And what do you think? Yeah, I think that's that's about it. So that's that's what I was looking for. And uh, let's then do the mirror modifier. We'll move that up for sure. And uh, that's going to be the Y direction. And uh, I mean, this should be a pretty clear cut. I'll just increase or have a wider, wider berth here on that, on the merge limit. Make sure it actually sticks and um, Go to object and apply that and go back and I think we're good. Yep. So, okay, let's photograph that. So we'll render that. Maybe, maybe it's even a little bit <coughs> too, too um, transparent, the windows. Maybe we want to go even further there and uh, go here in glass and uh, maybe like this and even darker and increase the Fresnel factor. Let's make it really dark tinted windows. See there, it's just still, it still shines through pretty good. See there, okay. So that's that's a s as dark as you have to have them to 0 0.95. I'll try that. Okay, we'll keep it at that. So now we have our our little car, and it looks like some strange SUV-ish little compact. I don't know. It's just weird. 
but as I said, it's uh, we are not winning any design uh, championships with this car. It's just a, a way of putting you know wheels on the road. But before I leave this tutorial, I'll do this. Let's say you would like to have, and I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to attempt to open up the doors or anything because it's just too too time consuming. But let's say that you want to try to make the windows inset. Then easy way to do that is to do extrude and then just uh, let's go with uh, normal here. That's better. And so we kind of set it in a little bit. And uh, if you render that, it looks a little bit different. Also, we can go and, and do the side. side windows especially I think on the on the door here this this car has magic entry system you just walk through the doors you don't even have to open the door it's very convenient extremely convenient opening you know so we'll do just E for extrude and then like this and uh, oh well that didn't turn out so good did it so then to do that uh, to to actually do this this little improvement here you would have to to l back out of that you'd have to do this first control r uh, this here and control r one more one over here like this and then you can probably do that with some impunity. See if maybe the top caves extrude and push it in and do that. Okay, that looks better. So now you kind of get that window frame thing. So if you want to work on it like that, you know, just knock yourself out. So there we are. Uh, next thing I'm going to do with this is I'll put lights, front and side lights, and 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 the you know, bumpers and the grill. We'll see how we have to divide that up, not to make too long tutorials. I hope you enjoy this. If you like it, like, subscribe, favorite, whatever. Um, make comments, ask questions. They're welcome. So. I look forward to talking to you soon, and have a good evening. Bye-bye.